and we return with episode 974 of Let's Play Gasfield Room. We last left off on our way to the LOB Enterprises archives. And I don't know what this place is, I just know it's filled with protectotrons and we are fucking kicking that. Oh, this whole place is filled with gas. He knows I'm here. We I must charge. Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> What? Where's my weapon? Oh, there's more! Fuck me! Well, what a way to start off the episode. Uh, I know what we need. Since there's no more gas, we need some grenades. Just chuck a couple grenades down there. Everything will be fine. Whoopsie! Nice. Job done. Okay, now I was checking out these cupboards. There is nothing of any use. In here? No. In here? No. So at the minute, well, I'm so, there's something I'm trying to do with my video series where I'm going to play, spend the whole day playing every game that I have reviewed so far. Oh god, it's one of them. Uh, so we're going to play Gorn, and uh, you might it might be out by now. This is episode four of this thing that I'm doing. <laughs> I don't have any stim packs, so we're just going to have to hope for the best. Oh, we can just do that, I suppose. Um, and then I'm going to play them all day. So Gorn and. Elite Dangerous and both of Bethesda's games, Skyrim VR and Fallout 4 VR, and then sort of do a compilation of everything. Hopefully lots of fun sh shit will happen. I don't know if it will, because I'm not very good at doing... Ah! Yes! <laughs> doing like ad-lib stuff. Um, but I'm hoping that it will just end up being really funny and it'll only take a couple days to make. Ooh, this is Matt from the future. I tried the idea I'm talking about and I really didn't like the results. <laughs> me live, not very funny. Me scripted, much better. So instead I'm reviewing every game on Steam. Please disregard everything I just said and possibly what I'm about to say after this. And now I'm going back to the past. I, or to the, to the present? Well, technically this is the present. Like a whole big like 10 minute sketch show of me fucking around in my favorite games in VR. Oh God. So I'm hoping that that will be fun. I don't really know to be honest because it takes me six weeks to make a review as you probably know yes uh, and so i want to try and make a few more videos because i have a wedding coming up my own wedding which is costing you know in london it's very you know tens of thousands of pounds unfortunately if you only make one video a month money's not why i do this one of the reasons i do this is because it's nice to have like like a legacy you can look back and be like here i was two months ago i made the gorn video and since then here i am now so you feel like you're sort of growing over time so it gives my life a little bit of meaning doing these videos. Uh, but anyway, that's a bit, ooh, it's a bit boring talking about that. But that's why I get confused about people who make like videos every day. It just becomes like a job then. If you release a video, what am I doing? And I, and you know, the kind of, I always thought the point of being a YouTuber was that it wasn't like having a nine to five job. It was like, you know, you have a creative career, but if you make a video every day, I don't feel like you are in a creative career. You know, um, people who do like Let's Plays every day. It just seems to feel like they are just turning up to work, really. I don't see Stealth Boy uh, find that creatively fulfilling. Because you, you, would, you would be creatively exhausted every day. So I don't know how you would get that fulfillment out of it. But different people. I personally wouldn't be able to make videos every day because I would run out of like creative juice, if you will. And you need juice. You need to lube up your videos before you insert them into YouTube or else they'll get stuck or something. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious as to what's in here because it's just like a building that was in quite a heavily... No, I can't open any of this stuff. I need... And I do have tumblers today, but I can't read them. So now I'm stuck. I can't open this stuff. This is a shame. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Maybe I'll find a key for the safe somewhere. This game is renowned for the items that you can find in a toilet. What's this? There's a... It's like a... Industrial. Oh, my sneak is so shit. Even with this stuff on. Right, here we go. Let me save. I haven't saved in a while. I don't want to do all this again. Here we go. Ah! Fuck you! So glad I got that perk. It is fucking awesome. I finally feel like my character is becoming the melee combatant that she was meant to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, we can't have that. That's really bad. Oh, fuck. I finally... I bet there's a stim pack in here. Something I've been needing this whole game and I need it now to fucking repair my horrific wounds. Morphine? We can... Oh, but that makes my head go funny. 
Use typo. Ugh, fuck's sake, guys. How do we get ourselves into these troubles? Much use. Please have something of... Ugh. This is madness. This is Sparta. This is all the other things that it could be. Uh, in there. Oh, I'm tired as well. I need to sleep and everything else. So I'm fucked. I'm tired. I've got no stim packs. I might have to load that fight up again because we're not going to be able to play. All right, let's try that again. I, I killed him without getting shot. It's only fair. I just got too close. Ah! Oh dear. Well, there we go. And I'm okay. Let's back away from that fucking thing. It's gonna blow. Oh. I guess it's not gonna blow. There we are, we're okay. Why didn't that happen before? Okay, so there's nothing in here. That's weird. I guess it's like a maintenance tunnel. I think in the vanilla game, there'd probably have been some stim packs in here, but all I got was a bobby pin and some Nuka Cola. So I've been playing uh, Fallout 2 recently. When I first started playing it, I heard that it was one of the best games ever made, without a doubt. That's what I've heard. Everyone says it's better than New Vegas, it's better than Fallout. And I just thought that can't be possible. It's too, you know, it's a top-down game. How, you know, how amazing could it really be? And I think a lot of people think that, which is why they avoid playing Fallout 1 and 2. I mean, you can get them for like a fiver, really, really cheap. But the reality is, oh, this puts my science up, that's cool. And my repair. I could probably use that and try and repair some of my items. Let's try that now. But I was playing, and Fallout 1 is good, but it's not as good as Fallout 3. It, it's really fun. But you have to play through it once or twice, I found, before you really start to get into it. That's what I found, at least. Fallout 2, I was about 10 hours in, and then suddenly the gameplay changed a little bit. And I'll talk about this in one of my videos on it, because that's what I want to do. I want to do a video on every Fallout one at a time, starting from one going to New Vegas. I was just like, this is amazing. This game really is really, really good when you're in the wastes walking around, random encounters, it has them, but they're really compelling when they happen. You're like, oh, what's gonna happen? This is so, you know, and you get really excited whenever you get into them. And this would have, you know, this came out in like 1991. 1998. Ooh. It completely nailed the feeling this game has, um, but with an amazing story as well. Fetamin, so our repair goes up by 15. Now, does that mean, there we go. Damage plus one isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but there you go. <laughs> I always remember the Chinese assault rifle being better when it was upgraded, so let's just do it to that. Hunting rifle. Yeah, everything is pretty fucking powerful now. And so yeah, Fallout 2 has just the most incredible story and all the locations are absolutely outstanding. They all really stand out on their own. The exploration is really fun. The music is incredible. Like, it's really surprised me and I really recommend it. Honestly, if you can, but you start, the thing is people start with two. This is the same message we've always seen. It's saying that people can bring weapons to work to protect themselves from being attacked. And I want to find out what's going on here. You, the problem is people start by playing two, and I think that's a really bad idea. You have to act like it when Fallout first came out. You play Fallout 1, then you play it again, because this is what it was like back then. So then people who were playing two were really familiar with the game's mechanics. And if you do it like that, then it works. But a lot of people, I imagine, just get Fallout 2 and start playing. And I think that's the wrong way to do it. Okay, so let's go to the east wings. We're quite a long way away, but we can run. And if any... What the fuck happened there? I think when I'm running, I end up smacking... I, I think I can smack into things. Yeah, I can smack... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can smack into objects. Well, that's pretty funny. Ooh, it's an elevator to the east wing. Excuse me, sir. Could you direct me to whatever the fuck I'm meant to be doing here? Answer me! There's another stealth boy. So I found two stealth boys here. Maybe they make stealth boys, which is why they might be getting attacked, because it's quite high technology stuff. Bring security turrets online. Maybe they'll kill the robots? Okay, the turrets are active. Let's see what happens when we do that. Save field. File not found. Pip OS error. I do wonder if this is something to do with the mod breaking the game or if it should say file not found. Because I've seen that a few times while using these mods. Security captain. I'm informed that federal investigators are interrogating Mrs. Johnson in the lobby. Please enact security protocol C6088. Shoot them. I think maybe they're trying to hide something here. Incitement weather policy. In the event of extreme winter nuclear conditions, all employees are required to proceed to human resources <laughs> and fill in some forms in accordance with the company policy L83. Employees will be issued iodine tablets. Geiger counters. Okay, cool. Hey, how you doing? Matt from the future here again. 
Something I didn't notice there on the computer, it said LOB Sovereign Republic, which indicates the people who worked here actually worked for the Chinese. So this is some sort of front for a Chinese invasion to go along with the military attack. I realised this later, but I'm sure you're all like, what the fuck? Can't he work this out? So these people were ready for the nuclear holocaust, but they were also ready to be attacked. And I've turned on all of the security guns. I presume that was a good idea. <laughs> I'm wondering if they'll shoot the protectotrons and then kind of kill each other in the struggle. All right, so it hasn't done much because they're still walking around. Hello, Chinese assault rifle. Yeah, this gun's too good to stop now. I've given it some welly. Okay, so he's dead now up there. I hit the stair that time. Sort of floating on one thing. I still need to get some sleep, remember, but there aren't any beds here. There he is. Fuck you! There we go. Okay, here we go. No, it didn't work twice. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, the other one's gonna blow up. There they go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We got some proper armor. So this is what I've got now is twenty four. I just picked up twenty five. Well, there's not a lot really in it, and this is way better because it helps my sneak. So I don't really need that. Coming here, the whole point may have been to find that armor case. You never know with this sort of stuff. <laughs> um, I may have already found something better in the street before entering the building. So I think they're upstairs. There he is. Oh god, 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 oh god. That's going to kill me very quickly. Now, flying Mr. Handy versus Fragmines. I don't think that's going to work. I think we're going to have to do the, the inevitable sprint into him. Here we go. Here we go, are we ready? Yes! <laughs> I'm unstoppable with all your legs. You'll never be able to stay up straight, Mr. Gut Gutsy. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Hey, couldn't say I panicked, right? Flame of your own energy cell. Cool, right, let's keep going. I'm determined to find out what is in here without dying. Are you ready? We are ready. Off the wall, boom. Didn't do anything. Sprint! They actually had something like that in Fallout 4, the sprinting thing, but you had to be wearing um, power armor. If you sprinted into things, it would knock them flying, but I guess they've... I imagine this mod was made before Fallout 4 came out. I think I'm getting tired. Oh, yeah, I'm passing out now. This isn't good. <laughs> I don't want to pass out in the middle of a Projectotron fight. But I doubt there are any beds in this office. Wait, will a stimulant keep me awake? Maybe that's what they do. Because I've got a lot of aid that says stimulant. Here we go, nuka is a stimulant. I reckon that will stop me from being too tired. So I can't get on there, so I need like a password. Is there going to be one nearby? R&D operations terminal. See, I bet that would tell me what the fuck was going on here. If only I'd put more into science. I am an evil scientist after all. Empty trunk, a vacuum cleaner, and a lunchbox. We'll MacGyver our way into the computer using those fucking things. <laughs> now, let's go. Start in here and work our way backwards. Stimpak. Yes! Fuck you now. Here we go. A secure case. The SEO's turn. Saved invoice. A USA flag. A paperweight and a rug. I've read all of this. What is going on in this place? So in, in there's a, a flag? I want to get inside that so badly. Tumblers today. The problem is, <laughs> is I can't read these. I need a skill of 40 to read it. But even if I did, yeah, perception affects lockpick. So I have a perception of five. Here we go, Mentats. I can open the first aid box. <laughs> We've got Stimpak, brilliant, and some aspirins. Okay, this is good. 
But I still can't get in there because that's hard. I need 75. So I found another another cabinet I can open. I'm hoping to find like a password to the computer or just or a Tommy gun. <laughs> hey, a mini nuke. There we go. So there's there's a reason to be in here. Now I've looked online and it appears that the key to that briefcase, because I'm in the CEO's room. You, that's why we're here, and I thought that was why we're here. And there is a key to it, but it's hiding somewhere in here. And no one online, as I've remembered, as, you, as if you've seen my last video, you'll know. You ask a question, and you get the answer. I can't remember where it is. So I'm just trying to find it. But I, I'm dubious, you know, I don't really trust the internet with these things. I've looked in all this stuff. Oh, it's in his desk. I swear to God, I've looked in every container in this entire room except for the fucking desk. Well, that's a, why, why even bother locking it? <laughs> Ooh. Does it make me lose health or the person using it? <laughs> so this like poisons people. It's like a, a Chinese pistol that poisons people. And I also got two issues of tumblers today and a mini nuke in here. So actually that's pretty good. <laughs> it's just I can't read them yet because my... Oh no, wait, if I've upped my thing, I can read them. There we go. So it was 51. What's my, after reading one, I go up to 45. What? And now if I read the other one, uh, it goes up to 45. So it didn't do anything reading those? What? <laughs> this game hates me so much. So maybe the fucking, the mentats I've taken has offset my lockpick so much by upping my perception so much I can't see the difference. Basically, before I took the mentats, my lockpick was at 30. So, fingers crossed, it will be up from that when my mentats wear off. I don't fucking know. So let's leave this horrific place. But that's pretty cool. We got some uh, a very interesting new weapon and a mini nuke and two issues of tumblers today, which I read and did nothing. So I've Googled what goes on at the LOB Enterprises and we have the Nth Apple and Oxhorn, both with half an hour videos about what it's about. Um, presumably, not that I've just read anything about it or watched an Oxhorn video on it, <laughs> since we found so many Chinese weapons here, it's very likely that it was like a front for the Chinese military before their attack on the US. But I didn't read that. So that's what was going on here, just for the uh, the purposes of completion. Uh, so there we go. Job done. Let's get the fuck out of here. There he is, my good friend Hoss. I do really like your armor, Hoss. You look fucking cool. So shall we uh, continue seeing what the fuck is out here? It's getting a bit dark. I need to find a bed. Have you seen any you, is this something, like, what is it with you and your other guy who's dead? All you did was do this all day. So how we, how, how, how we doing? Yep, yeah, you're right. Yep, yeah, we're up. I'm gonna see if I can follow him. Oop. So he's up and then down. So it's quick. He does like a quick. There you go. Getting it now. Oop. There we are. Up, down. So he's doing his squats. He's got to keep fit. You know. I mean, he's gonna be. He's gonna be dead any second now. <laughs> because he's got no health whatsoever. Oh, I'm gonna try and use that gun as well. Which I imagine the details of this weapon were on a computer with a hard lock that I could not get through. But I like this pistol, I think it's cool. So I'm happy to use it. There's nothing over here, is there? <laughs> Notice I don't, I don't really wanna fast travel back to Megaton and like bite it, you know, and sleep and get some supplies because it seems a bit too easy, the easy way out. I like making things difficult for me and everyone else. Hoss is not following me because he's fucking over there doing squats. I mean, if you don't have the console, how in the fuck are you supposed, what is your problem? Cut it out. Me, <laughs> you fucking bastard. Are you following me? Good, right, let's go kill some, I think actually, to be fair, I think we've done everything we can do here, so our time is over together because there's nowhere to go over there and he's not gonna go in there with me. But I was over here and I've gone around and I'm wondering if we can explore up here. Because to get back to the Brian Wilkes, we go through Marigold. I wonder if there's anywhere else we can... Ah, oh, there's a super mutant. You might just die yet and I can take your armor. I mean, we can kill this super mutant. Okay, let's go. What we're going to do is I'm going to shoot him with this gun. Oh, 
Oh, he's on fire. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I like this gun, I like this gun, I like this gun, I like this gun, I like Mate, what are you doing? Do something. Nice. Very nice. Okay, okay my Mentats is worn off. Does that mean that my lockpick is above 30? No. So what was the point of reading that book? Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, you, you cut it out. Get over here. It's all over, Hoss. Oh. He survived. I wanted you to die so I could have your sweet ass armor. Cool. Well, I like this gun. We've got a new favorite gun. Oh, Jesus. But never mind. No, it's not. Why are you gone hostile? That wasn't my fault. How was that my fault? Come back to me, Hoss. I want your armor. Oh, now you. Oh, fuck you now. He's really mad at me. And there we have it. Fuck.